Hey, good day. My name is Jeffrey with Howell's Carpet Cleaning, and today we are going to be doing a little bit of hot water extraction, also known as HWE. Um, first thing I want to point out again is my the ever so famous Kirby vacuum cleaner. Uh, I highly recommend this beast because um, it gets 8.6 pounds of suction and does a phenomenal job of pulling out a ton of uh, dry debris out of carpeting. Um, as we walk in here, a couple things I want to point out. Um, typically, this sort of Berber carpeting doesn't have a whole lot of uh, dirt and debris stuck into it. Although, we did pre-vacuum it and pulled out quite a bit of just loose stuff floating around on top. This carpeting here, deceiving as it may be, uh, Carpeting can actually hold up to one pound of debris per square foot, which is absolutely insane when you start thinking about how much debris that could actually uh, accumulate up to. Um, in here, with uh, shag light, -like, with shag light -like carpeting like this, um, you typically get quite a bit of debris actually hiding down in there. So a pre-vacuum is more important than your typical carpeting. So uh, to press the issue a little bit more, um, all the carpeting here has been pre-vacuumed by a previous cleaner, but as you can see, we have a full Kirby bag of debris here. Uh, that's just stuff that the other vacuum cleaners aren't able to pull out of the carpeting. Otherwise, this all would have turned to mud using a uh, steam cleaning or hot water extraction. So you tell me what's better, extracting it out with a vacuum cleaner or turning that entire bag into mud and hoping that you're going to be able to suck it all out later. Okay, and I've already uh, started here earlier, but we're going to come up here and take a look at some of the equipment that we are going to be using um again this is typical hot water extraction um basically we use hot water and a hose to suck out water a pre-spray um this here is actually a restoration tool it's a bit more vigorous than just using a typical wand to uh, spray down water and suck it out this actually scrubs our pre-spray solution into the carpeting fibers and does a pretty good at allowing uh, dirt, debris, and other things to dislodge from the carpeting. All right, so we got a, quite a bit of noise up here with all this equipment running, but I wanted to point out a couple of things on this uh, Rotovac restoration wand. It's a uh, electrical powered tool, as you can see the power cord there running out. But as we take a look at it, you'll notice a couple of things. We got these two rotating, counter-rotating heads on there with uh, injection jets that shoot water out. Now, as you can see, there's quite a bit of sand buildup just because we've been doing a bit of cleaning. And there's actually a lot more sand and dirt and carpeting than I think people realize or would even want to uh, imagine there being in their carpets. But that's the case. So uh, what we are going to do is we are going to finish up uh, cleaning this bedroom. It's been pre-sprayed already and it is good to go. So uh, we'll be back in a few. And as we come down the hallway here and take a look at a couple of these bedrooms that we've already cleaned with that restoration wand, I'm going to have to come back up and pre-treat that nasty oily grease with another product. But um, as you can see looking around, it did a fantastic job of just uh, basically lifting out everything that is in the carpeting. So this, this these carpeting up here are extremely clean and free of dirt and debris. Okay, and we're back to this grease spot, which was most likely a chair or something that was sitting there. That's generally generally what leaves those uh, greasy spots is the metal feet on chairs. Um, what I mixed up here is some uh, grease removal solution. 
and we're going to put that down on there and let it kind of dwell and break in and um, break that stuff apart and i'll probably use that brush to scrub it in a little better and that may or may not remove it all it may need a, another extraction if it does i have an extraction tool that i'll bring in when i do the stairways and uh, we'll be right back to uh, show you some results here okay so we're back in this room with the extraction of that greasy uh furniture spot i think it was um i did pre-treat it with a uh grease remover and i extracted it with a upholstery tool like you would use to clean stairs and it still it looks better than what it was but i'm still not too happy with it so I'm going to leave another product on it that will work on it overnight and just continue eating away at that greasy stuff. But um, as far as today is concerned, that's probably as far as we're going to get. And my uh, video on my camera is going crazy. Howell's Carpet Cleaning, signing out.